Hey, so I'm going to show you how to ramp up the power of your ManyChat button uh, on your ClickFunnels pages using our ManyChat button booster tool that we just created. So what this does is it allows you to create a, uh, a modal pop-up so that when the user clicks your ManyChat button, it can pop up a modal window that has say an opt-in form or an additional uh, you know content something like that in it so that you could collect uh, the name phone and email so that you can send them to either a CRM or your own autoresponder series like a classic email type of a situation and it'll also allow you to uh, track the clicks using your Facebook pixel in which uh, many chat does not have right now when you click the button so uh, here's kind of an example of what what happens when uh, you click the ManyChat button when you've got the ManyChat button booster installed on the site. So as you can see here, this is kind of a lead gen page. And if I click that button, you can see that it not only uh, delivers the message through uh, chat fuel, or sorry, uh, ManyChat, uh, that it also pops up a window where I can collect the user's email as well. So <clears throat> let's go back and start working on getting this into your click funnels. So the first thing you need to do is uh, come over here to click funnels uh, and you want to edit your pop-up settings. So uh, you can come over here, create your, your pop-up and do everything that you need to do here. Um, there's no additional settings that you have to set up when you're editing the pop-up, okay? So let's go ahead and close the pop-up. The next thing you need to do is you need to come over here to uh, ManyChat and you need to copy this code here in your growth tool and come over here and edit and add a new element inside uh, your ClickFunnels page. We just create custom JavaScript and HTML and we want to paste it in there and we're done there. Now the next thing you need to do is you want to grab the install the JavaScript snippet. You want to make sure that your ClickFunnels domains are also in here whitelisted so that the button will pop up. So let's copy that to the clipboard and come back to uh, your ClickFunnels page and let's go to the tracking code section in your settings and you want to put that in your headings. Okay, you can paste that in with everything else. Okay, so we're getting pretty close here. What you want to do here is, uh, in order to pop up the modal window, um, we can set up some kind of, uh, basically any kind of, of CSS ID or CSS class for a click trigger that will pop up the modal window. Okay, so um, just for the example, uh, I'm going to put in, uh, you want to put in dot opt in trigger, like that. And what that is, is a CSS class okay so you, the dot tells it that it's a CSS class and then that's the name of the class okay now if I want to trigger this or, uh, or track this as a Facebook pixel um, when they click on it I can just basically enable the pixel on click and then I can track it as a lead or as a custom event and we've got links here for you to the Facebook business pages that show you how to use the pixel if you don't know how to use the pixel uh, I would highly recommend learning how to use Facebook pixels so you can get very cheap clicks and do retargeting as well so for the uh, just for this example I'm going to turn off the custom event we're going to leave the Facebook pixel there and then we're going to just generate our code then it creates this big chunk of code that you will want to copy and then you want to come back over here to your ClickFunnels page, go to settings, tracking code, and you want to paste this into the footer. There you go. That's it. You're done with that. And then you want to save your page. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. If we come up here and click the preview button, you'll see that our blank page shows our little mini chat button that we installed. And then when we click it, we get to see that nice, beautiful opt-in that can collect additional information from your users. So that is how you add the ManyChat button to ClickFunnels and then also create an opt-in form that pops up over the button as well when the user clicks it. All right, thanks very much.